has our exclusive report. She grew up on this island off the coast of Maine, but when Hannah Pingree had her blood tested, she found 19 different flame retardant chemicals in her system. You know, it makes me angry that I could have a child the next couple years who would be impacted by these chemicals in my body. If you have it. If I have it, living here. you have it, <laughs> we all have it. We all have it because for 30 years, flame retardant chemicals, hundreds of millions of pounds of them, have been embedded in furniture and consumer products in an effort to to slow down fires and reduce deaths and injuries. But scientists are now raising red flags about the widely used brominated flame retardants called PBDEs. I am concerned about developing children. Linda Birnbaum, a senior toxicologist at the EPA, is concerned because PBDEs cause the kind of health effects in young animals that are warning signs for infant humans. They can affect the developing brain, and they can affect the developing reproductive system. There is very limited evidence whether or not they can cause cancer. This is concentrating in human beings just like PCBs. Just Maine like state PCBs. toxicologist Deborah Rice, a former EPA scientist, once studied PCBs, toxic chemicals banned in the 1970s. She now compares them to the chemical DECA, the one PBDE still produced in America. I concluded that DECA was toxic. Did you come away believing that these chemicals are capable of causing brain damage? Yes, they absolutely are. Unlike other industrial chemicals, brominated flame retardants build up inside the human body. These chemicals are now in our furniture, cars, electronics, children's products, even in our food. We think the time for a ban is now. As young as she appears, Hannah Pingree is the House Majority Leader in the Maine Legislature, which last year voted to phase out DECA. She was alarmed by evidence PBDEs are found in polar bears, in eagles, and in human breast milk, where they pass from mother to child. They come into our bodies, they build up in our fat tissue, they're in the natu natural environment, and they're very, very difficult to get rid of. Kids are swimming. In, fire retardants. in a report to be released Tuesday, Russell Long of the environmental group Friends of the Earth documents how products like this car seat can contain up to 9% bromine, which might explain why Americans have 10 times more of these chemicals than anyone on Earth. These are ridiculous amounts of fire retardants to be putting into these car seats when there's perfectly safe ways of getting fire safety without the chemical use. In a matter of minutes, fire can destroy a home. The bromine industry, which declined our request for an on-camera interview, has stressed in its ad campaigns its chemicals are necessary to save lives. Tell them we can't take a chance on fire safety. In a statement, one manufacturer, the Chemtura Corporation, says hundreds of studies have concluded that DECA BDE was safe for continued use. The industry argues there is no conclusive proof of harm to humans. To sit around and wait um, for the chemical industry to admit there was a problem um, would be waiting too long. The EPA is completing a safety review of DECA and six more states are considering bans. The question is whether DECA's ability to slow down fire is now outweighed by evidence it's toxic to animals and showing up in humans. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, North Haven, Maine. And Wyatt will have more on this story tomorrow. Meanwhile, still ahead tonight, his tragic story infuriating.